This is the right hand turn lane in Rosemont with a red light camera. Critics say it's misleading and that drivers could easily roll through the stop at the red light camera curve. The I team found that the camera is also a huge moneymaker. This busy intersection in the heart of Rosemont is near the convention center, popular restaurants, hotels, and a casino. The red light camera located at this hot spot is bringing in millions of dollars for the village. Are you really giving people tickets on technicalities or are you trying to put things in place to protect safety? Ticketed driver Scott Albrecht and others are fuming over one camera facing a right turn lane going northbound at this intersection, River Road and Higgins. Critics say it's confusing and call it a red light camera trap for two reasons. These signs sometimes are misleading. First, they're questioning this no turn on red when pedestrians are present sign, saying as they approach the right hand curve lane, they think they can keep on going if there are no pedestrians. As long as there's no pedestrians in front of me, and which one it wasn't, so I keep going. Edgar Londano contested his ticket in the Rosemont red light camera court. So did Albrecht. Both lost for rolling through the red. I don't see any signs saying you can't go. There's no pedestrians, no nothing. Drivers also say the designated right turn acts as its own lane and tricks them into thinking they can keep on going. The Rosemont superintendent of police and fire disagrees. We don't want to cheat anybody. We're not here to uh, do a gotcha moment on anybody. Uh, the signs are posted in several locations uh, stating red light camera enforced area. There is a traffic signal to the left on the island, but look here when you inch up the curve to look for traffic before going right, there's no signal on the right in the driver's cone of vision. The light to the left doesn't apply to the right hand turn. Safety expert Timothy Galarnik has studied the national rules and standards for traffic lights at intersections. I call it a Rosemont deceptive trap because they hoodwink the judges and the motorists. He's saying because it's a designated lane, arguably someone may not even have to stop at all. I believe if that was the case, the state would not allow that camera to be placed there and us to enforce that. Well, could the um, state be wrong? Well, we could all be wrong, right, Jason? The Illinois Department of Transportation says it does not place cameras municipalities do. IDOT says it only makes sure cameras are positioned in a safe way. Mark Wallace from Citizens to Abolish Red Light Cameras says he believes the curb is much like the other designated right turn lanes, which the I-Team has investigated. There is no traffic signal in my cone of vision, which is the problem. Rosemont officials say they can't narrow down how many tickets come from right turns here. That one camera can ticket drivers going right, left, and straight. It generated two and a half million dollars in tickets in the last three years. It is a lot of money. Where does it go? Where does it go? General fund. Is it a trap? No, it's not a trap. I don't believe it's a trap. Steven cited what he calls a 48% reduction in crashes at the intersection and says all alleged video offenses are reviewed by a public safety employee before a ticket is issued. You want to be fair. He then added that the curve in question will be reviewed. It is under review. And again, whatever the right thing is to do, we're going to do it. And more lights and more signs could mean less revenue. I'm okay with that. If it makes less money, you're all right with that. I'm not in this business to make money. IDOT says the traffic signals at that intersection meet all state and federal guidelines and that it makes sure cameras don't interfere with traffic. Now there is also another camera at that same intersection. So if you add up the numbers for both cameras, drivers were issued $4.2 million in tickets in just three years. And that's one intersection. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.